So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's now the beginning of May 2020. So it's been uh, over three months since I posted the last video. Obviously um, the fact that Italy shut down completely uh, and I live in Austria so it was impossible to get back to the house uh, to get on and to, to actually do some things and, uh, and, and make some videos about it has been um, a big shame and I'm, I'm really raring to go and we're trying to get uh, you know as much done here as we possibly can so there there will be some more videos on the the couple of things we've done but um, but one of the things that this uh, this lockdown this worldwide lockdown has uh, has caused is that there are a lot of people a lot more people than I ever imagined would watch these videos have, uh, have actually started watching these videos and commented um, and quite a few people have asked, tell us about the buying process, tell us about the thought process. So today's video, what I'm going to talk about is um, how we ended up buying a house in Northern Tuscany uh, and why we ended up buying a house in Northern Tuscany. And then um, I'll do another one, I think, because it'll probably be too long and uh, you don't want it to be you know, ridiculously long. Uh, I'll probably do another one then um, on the actual process, which was in itself um, quite, quite an event. So, um, so it all started, you know, um, well over a, a year, almost a year and a half ago now. Well, we moved about four years ago from the south of France to Austria. Uh, and Austria is lovely, we live in the middle of the Alps, um, but what's missing, uh, and I'm sorry, the camera shake, I'm just holding my, my phone in my hand, what's missing uh, really is the sea, because we lived very close to the sea in, in France, um, and we both love the sea, so we decided to start having a look around and, and seeing, and decided that uh, that buying a place in France was A, going to be too expensive and B, was going to be too far away. So then we started looking around Italy because uh, we live very close to the Italian border here. And, uh, and we looked initially up um, towards Venice on that coast, but the, the water there isn't as nice as, as, as the, uh, the open Mediterranean. So then we started working out where could we go, how far can we get, what are the prices like, um, and we drew, we drew a map, uh, like a, a circle on the map, um, that said this is as far as we could possibly drive. We think because uh, it's going to be with a car for a weekend, and we kind of came up with the idea that four hours would be okay, that we could leave uh, on a Friday knock off a little bit early from work, knock off at, you know, maybe four in the afternoon from work and still be uh, at, at our house, sort of like at eight or nine in the evening, which is still a reasonable time. Um, put the kids to bed, have some dinner, and then, uh, and then spend Saturday, all Saturday, and leave again on Sunday evening and, you know, around the same time and late afternoon. Uh, and make it home for for you know for nine ish and then into work the next morning so so that sort of reduced what we could do quite a lot and you look at the motorways and we ended up in uh, you know this this circle being emilia romana uh, ligurian and uh, and the top of tuscany so then we got onto this fabulous italian website and uh, and probably the one that is the easiest to use and the one I would recommend. It's called Casa, C-A-S-A dot I-T. They're not a sponsor, but I don't think they'll mind me uh, passing on their, their website. Um, it's very good. You can search through pretty much every criteria that you need. Um, so we, we started looking through that. Um, and our criteria, and I think it's very important when you're, when you're going on sort of a, a, a bit of an unknown to fix certain criteria and then to really stick to them because it's very easy then to say oh well you know this this would probably do but our criteria were quite quite simple it had to be within the you know three and a half to four and a half hours absolute maximum driving distance not too far from from motorway exit you don't want to be you know driving that last hour 
down little tiny windy roads because it'll take a lot longer than you plan or than, than Google Maps will plan for you. Um, we wanted something that wasn't an apartment. We wanted a house because we live in an apartment, so we wanted uh, more space and um, enough space for me to to kind of do stuff, to build stuff, to to mess about with. Um, we didn't want it completely isolated. We wanted to be able to walk to a restaurant or a bar, or well, actually more a restaurant than a bar, so that we could you know go out to dinner and not have to worry about driving somewhere. Um, and we wanted it to be not too far from the sea so that we could sort of head down to the beach for a day or for half a day easily. And, and, and that's pretty much what we found when we hit Luniguiana, which is the, that northern part of, uh, of Tuscany, which is uh, between Parma, which is in Emilia Romana, uh, and La Spezia, which is in Ligurian. It goes through, there's a chunk of Tuscany there and it's, it's very pretty, it's, uh, it's big valleys. So, um, so we started looking around that area and we're amazed uh, at the prices. And um, so this is, the, uh, this is the initial ad we saw. I did actually save this, so I'm just going to scroll through it. And, then, uh, and we saw quite a few houses. Um, we were looking for something not very expensive, uh, something that we wouldn't have to take a mortgage out on, something that we, could, uh, that we would be able to restore over the next few years. Um, so I, I, you know, so far I'm hoping I haven't completely uh, overdone it and um, and judged myself um, as being a much better builder than I am. But um, but this house, when we saw these pictures and the, the columns, you know, columns, what can you do? Columns are fabulous. Um, we sort of said that's beautiful, that's amazing. So. Um, so we looked at you know quite a few others just to to compare to see what what are the ups and downs what are the the, the things that are not going to go very well here uh, and this house um, had been on the market for quite a few years actually not not even months it had been on for for more than two years um, and nobody had bought it because I I guess it's quite big. And it hasn't been lived in for a very long time and it's got no water and it's got no electricity, it's got no heating and it's got no this and it's got no that. It's scaring people away. Um, but it didn't scare us away. We, we fell in love with it, um, which is always a dangerous thing to do. But it fit all our criteria. It's a house. It doesn't have a garden. We didn't want a garden because if we're only going away for weekends, uh, what we didn't want to do is then end up cutting grass and you know trimming trees and stuff every weekend. Um, we want to sit on a terrace uh, and have a gin tonic or a, or a glass of wine and, and, uh, and some fabulous food and, and watch the sun go down. And that's what we've got. So, um, so that's brilliant. That's, that really is very good. And I think it's going to be such an amazingly beautiful house when it's finished. And it does need some stuff doing, but we looked at it and we looked at it and the structure's good and the walls are good and... Um, and we just kept coming back to it and talking about it and talking about it. And in the, in the, the, the follow-up video, which I might, uh, I might even record tonight or, or tomorrow, because it's getting quite light, as you can see, it's quite dark, but I don't want to turn the lights on because we just, just, just had a baby who's now two and a half days old and has fallen asleep. And I, I don't want to wake him up. Um, but we'll explain, you know, it was an incredibly complicated procedure to buy this house and, uh, and, and a lot of people told us not to do it, but we did it. We, we forced through and, it, you know, that, that first initial hurdle to get over that really demonstrated how much we really wanted to do this. And we do really want to do this and we did really want to do this. And we've, we've you know, we've come quite, 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 well, we haven't come quite far, but you can now have a shower in this house. There's warm water and you can, you can go to the loo without having to go out on the terrace. These are, you know, amazing things in such a short period of time. And, uh, and if COVID-19 hadn't come in, uh, and thrown a huge spanner in the works uh, and reduced, you know, I guess for people who are looking and thinking about buying a house in Italy, it's, as soon as they open the borders, it'll probably be a good time because as far as I can tell, this house is now almost completely worthless. There will be no tourism in Italy this year. There probably won't be much next year because... Uh, because either people don't have any money or they're not going to be traveling because they're worried about traveling or Italy won't have opened the borders. You know, it's, it's hard to tell. It's such a, um, such a difficult time. And yet, 
we're itching, itching to get back there, itching to get on with it, to, to, to finish that first room, to finish that bathroom up, uh, to, to, you know, to, well, to show you all of you what the rest of the house looks like. Um, I have, in fact, because somebody asked, set up uh, an Instagram. So there's an Instagram, uh, not useless yet, with some pictures on it. And I'll put more and more pictures on it, pictures of various rooms in the house from underneath, you know, other, other views and some, some interesting things about what we're doing. Um, we're trying to, you know, to get as much done. We've, we're, we're looking at uh, getting a kitchen uh, here, uh, an old kitchen, and then, uh, and then kind of adapting it already so that when we just take it down, we can fit it. So there's lots, lots of things that have been going on, obviously, and with the baby and uh, uh, and the you know the lockdown and the work situation, it's been it's been a difficult and exciting couple of months. But um, but yeah, so the you know by just to recap, work out exactly where you want to be, and then don't deviate away from that. Work out what your budget is, uh, and don't deviate away from that. And don't forget that in Italy, uh, the asking price is very very negotiable and will probably become more and more negotiable over the next few weeks months um make sure that if you've said initially we want or we need three bedrooms that you get at least three bedrooms don't go crazy there are lots of places out there that have 16 bedrooms um that's going to be an endless project an endless project don't don't even bother um be optimistic be optimistic in what you can do yourself, but be realistic. Um, we made very sure that the walls and the roof were in good condition um, because that's that's really important. We made very sure that everything that had ever been done to the house, uh, and luckily nothing has in the last hundred years, uh, had planning permission um, and that there wasn't anything that was going to cause a problem at a later date. Um, we made very sure there weren't termites. All of these things are, you know, are really important things to check up. Um, so, so we did that and it still, it looks like a ruin and it is a ruin, but it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful ruin. Uh, and the great thing as well, I think is that it wasn't partially restored in the eighties and, and everything wasn't painted green and, and tiled with terrible tiles and they didn't fit like a pink bathroom. So, um, so I'm not having to take things apart to, to fix things. You just take as it is and we'll, you know, um, as you saw, running some electricity, running some water. There'll be lots, lots more water and electricity. There'll be a little kitchen. We'll get a bathroom up and then, and then we'll be able to spend enough time there to, to really get on with the new projects, the terrace, um, the, the real kitchen, because we'll have to put in a temporary kitchen because the, the real kitchen will take a long time to do. So all of these, all of these things are coming up. Um, and I hope to be able to share them all with you as, as we go along. But I thought I'd give you a quick update. And, um, and tomorrow, I'll try and post uh, an update on actually how to buy a house in Italy, uh, or at least how we bought a house in Italy and, and all of the costs, uh, all of the the hidden traps, all of the things that could go wrong. And uh, we're, we're quite good at that because everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, we made an offer for this house on the 5th of January, 2019, and we signed the final deed at the end of November 2019. So that was a very, very, very long and, and tiresome process. But we got through it, uh, and I'll tell you all about that soon. So um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching the other videos. Comment uh, if, if you have something to say. I do try and answer them. Uh, if you like the video, then click on the like button. Uh, show it to your friends. Um, every little bit helps because the more feedback I get, the, the more I'm likely to, to record more stuff and to, and to share it with you. Um, stay safe. Difficult times. Uh, don't get discouraged. Um, everyone has a project in them. Um, follow me on Instagram. Like, subscribe, share. Do, you know, whatever everyone else on this. I'm not a really a YouTuber. Um, but I do watch some YouTube videos and they always, they always say that same thing, like, share, subscribe. So like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon.